All right, here we go. Duo casting, first time with STC Chris. Uh, he's just stepped away for a moment, but he's going to be joining us briefly. Okay, I'm uh, back. All right. Uh, now, did Lurker, is he uh, is he an observer observing. right now? Yes, okay, he's sweet. Observing. You want to start us off? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and call, quickly call the uh, the players in the in the game. We have Argonaut here is Germany, always a treat to watch. He tends to go very ground heavy, uh, so I'm looking forward. And Balthasar plays Italy frequently, very, very familiar, uh, pretty versatile. Goliath there as Spain, so yeah, he can do many different uh, strategies. Uh, Boobsuck as UK, Artha as France. Salen with his famous Norway and uh, Napoleon hopping on. He's cupping on cold and he's uh, he's taking Russia. Uh, we're gonna see how he uh, how he does. So uh, we have Germany retreating troops in uh, Egypt with uh, 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 UK uh, going ahead and knocking out these bunkers. Looks like yeah. So Argonaut likes to do this as Germany often likes to send all the not the case of something like an Algeria rush. All right, so there's nothing going on with uh, with the Finland take, so this should be smooth. Looks like he's got a, a good angle. What patch are we playing on, by the way, Chris? Actually, I think it's 3.1. Three point one. Three point but only look at right. uh, no, no, it's 3.0 point up because in this version, UK starts with two dropships. You can see uh, left of London. All right. Whereas in 3.1, he only has one. So we're going to see on the east hold, Balthazar and the O ones in general are usually very good about repairing. Yeah, interesting lower bunk portion there, clearly protecting the physics bay, the, the two low um, uh, bunkers from Italy. He's going to look to try to uh, pull in Russia's army right into the uh, into that kill zone of, uh, of three bunkers low. Yeah, so it looks like Napo, Russia, is attacking Poland. He's a bit thin on east, and he does not have his battle cruisers protected, so he got a few shots on that. Yeah, pulls it in time though, and it's going to come in with his main force, and he's going to go right directly into these bunkers. Normally, it's not it's not this heavy this early, so this is pretty unfortunate for Napoleon, uh, in that uh, this attack is going to get stuffed, and it looks like possibly a BC might even go down. Right. Something Russians need to know is if they have their BCs a bit too low, it's easy for them to get chipped away at the start, and then their BCs become open. They're uh, switching over to top. Looking to try to get these bunkers down. He's willing to sacrifice his BCs for it. He could have uh, retreated those. Possibly would have gotten them out. I'm going to go ahead and get these two tanks out. And overall, I've got a great penetration. Uh, I believe that's either five or six bunkers killed on the east. And meanwhile, uh, France had been taken. And lots of troops left over for Spain. And not too many troops left over for Germany. So an 87 kill hold for uh, Artha. I'd have to say very successful. One thing you might notice in order of Italy versus Greece, Italy still has a bunch of vultures, tanks, and he's going to use it to attack Greece. Some Italy's prefer to leave them there, but it's probably best east to help him save some of his bunkers on east. Personally, I like taking a vulture or two and going to ward that uh, that Rome trigger that happens uh, right before D-Day. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know it. It just, I had to say about half of the Francis landed and half of them take, take the shuttles and, uh, and, and then use them. So what do you like to do when you're, uh, when you're France and you get that trigger? I like to pull the shuttles. They're so, they have so much health they can help you take the island. Absolutely. Uh, good point. I actually normally like dropping it, but you know, teach their own. Uh, I, I do see the, val uh, the validity of both ways. Uh, but very curiously, Paris has not been taken yet. So uh, there must have been some harassment going on. Uh, but uh, Napoleon, I mean Argonaut, would be uh, do really well to uh, to try to take it this turn. He's going ahead and building a uh, what looks like a supply depot, and uh, yeah, he's going to go ahead and hold that single uh, messer over by uh, the Atlantic to watch for any incoming drops. Goliath being very very careful for building that extra bunker right over uh, to uh, near Madrid, and of course the siege tanks, which has came along in, uh, in later iterations. But for many many years, uh, Spain never had a, uh, a siege tank uh, in their capital, but it really helps uh, defend it. Right. So now we're going to see if Russia is going to decide between going east or low on east. It looks like he only has a few tanks left and no BC left. It looks like either he's going low or probably looks like... No, it looks like he's going east. 
Yeah, that's what he's calling. Although his troops were stationed a little unusually low. Yes, and it's the art to send in your men as Russia. So right now his main gathering point is too pulled up as opposed to staggered. And it might end up coming in a line to their location. was bad for him bunker. Yeah, you uh, you have to send from multiple points, right? And um, right. unfortunately, there's a um, there, there are there are a, a lot of lines here. Right. So we got a bunch of lines being intercepted. Bottom. It's like Poland's sugar that Germany gets is actually going to help him keep up a bit. So on east, Russia is attacking the bunker wall. Wrath coming in. Oh, and Spain comes right in and goes ahead with the hold cue right as the Wrath was go diving in. Big, big play by Spain, and you don't often see that. Uh, normally, Spain's more focused with trying to get the med trigger, or trying to get something more aggressive. But here, protecting the most important asset in the game, German BCs. Very, very good play by Goliath. And meanwhile, on the left, on Spain, you can see that Norway did a para drop on Spain and took out almost all of his base. Wow, I think that's just about it, and that's uh, that's Salen. You really can't sleep on his uh, on his Norway. Uh, he's really got that para drop down, and he just seems to drop at the drop at the right place at the right team. It's just been a pleasure casting his Norway the last uh, in the, within the last week or two. If you look at the bottom right of Spain, you'll see that Salen is actually dropping some vulture or vulture spider mines. There's actually a trigger there later that he was maybe trying to target. Spain gets a trigger at the bottom of the base a few minutes from now, but it looks like they're going to clear the mines. It's not going to be a problem. Yeah, but Med's happening in a minute and ten seconds, and right now there doesn't seem any sort of mechanism to stop it. Uh, we're going to see uh, there should be the axes should be stacking air there, but I don't know if they'll have the ground necessary to be able to completely wipe it out without uh, any sort of uh, losses. We do have right. to see that Italy's got his dropships, but does not seem to be trying to load them. More concerned with the uh, the eastern side of the map where uh, Russia is once again massing. Right. Looks like Germany is going to try to help the battle crews. They're going to actually block some of the air with their flying units. Something common Axis will do. They'll supply all their air, drop ships, buildings, block as much of the fleet from spawning. It looks like Balthazar is going to cover for Spain, though, and they're going to take this easily. Yeah, great teamwork here, isn't it? Don't you love to see all three uh, countries uh, blocking this med trigger? Yeah, it's good awareness. Too many times I just see only Spain there, or uh, or only two countries, which is still normally good enough, two countries, but when you go ahead and you put three, it leaves uh, make sure that there's no uh, ex excess air that gets out, and as you saw there, nothing got out. Uh, but here, uh, decent timing, we have Artha going ahead with a tank-heavy army and sliding right on through into Africa. He's going ahead and he just busted right through, and uh, there's nothing in his way uh, you do have to think that there's going to be some sort of air or some sort of ground units that are going to try to stop them. I don't think they're going to let them take all these cities. Uh, let's see how this plays out uh, over here in Africa. Right. In this situation, it seems like Spain is too weak to hold anything. It looks like he's just barely trying to get a building up in the bottom left corner of the map next to Morocco. In this situation, I think that Spain is just too weak. He has to just focus on saving the SUV and not dying in the next few minutes. Well, going with the... Uh building two barracks, one on each continent. I actually like that idea, uh, but uh, after finishing building uh, this turn, I would lift the command center and this newly constructed barracks uh, away from Spain. Uh, personally, I'd like to hide them a little bit, as it's probably going to be a very likely target, either that or AWOL, for Stalin's next drop. He's definitely very vulnerable. So right now we've got a Spain drop going towards Ireland. This is a trigger that will allow Spain to take that island with good heads up play, look at the Norway, look at Salen. Good guy Salen, he's going to try to take it out. For Raf and able to take it. And that's going to cancel out this trigger and uh, really uh, uh, helps in the detection uh, uh, so that Norway could, could go right through there and, and, and do drops in the future. Uh, so when, you, when Spain does hold that, it's very rare that Norway will try to sneak around uh, Ireland that Spanish held uh, and go ahead and drop, uh, and drop Madrid. Uh, but here, going ahead and uh, and being a very heads up play and doing the right thing. Uh, but Oslo's taken. Uh, Argonaut would be really wise to build a, a science vessel to come clear out these um, mines because uh, the trigger's happening fairly shortly. And uh, if oh uh, yeah, he must have already got it. Right, looks like they're going to engage over Oslo. The UK decides. To 
good on Aloy bringing it there just in case to protect the battle cruiser since they don't have marine cover in Denmark to fall back to. So Argonaut still has oh he has brought an SUV to build a turret tanks Oslo. Turrets actually build much faster than other buildings in this game, so it's a common choice for taxi. He could have also flown his barracks south of Denmark. Strange how Norway had allied Vic, uh, Vi, uh, 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 he, ha he had allied Germany, and the mines did not uh, didn't spring when the SCV dropped uh, in Oslo. So a little bit strange on that. He must have had allied. I'm actually not sure if these trigger mines are taken. Wow! Look at all of those drops by Salen. Right, so the Norway is in the top left corner of the map. He may try to sneak down to the tax mainland the right instead. But basically, if France and Norway double drop Spain now, he's dead. So he should be wise to get some SCDs. In. Hopefully, his teammates realize what's going to happen that Spain is won. So he's got a star bunker design in the center of uh, Madrid, and he's going ahead and lifting his important buildings and putting them uh, near the bunker. So he's he's trying to hold Spain at all costs. Uh, just as you said, though, uh, even though he's building a lot of defenses, uh, it's just not going to be enough against a double drop. And here we're going to see witness to that. Where's Norway? Where's Norway? There he is. He needs to get in there. A little bit of mistiming. It would have been just five more seconds would have made all the difference there. And surprisingly, Spain holds pretty well. It's like using repair on the bunkers. Yeah, just a little bit of miscommunication from the Allies. They they had to go in together on that, and uh, Spain, uh, France dropped just a little bit too early, and that's the result. Uh, here, Italy is trying to get the dropships. He's got one. He's going to go for more. He's got a second one. He's an extremely yeah, valuable units and get the third drop. So now. France down to four drops, and it comes to that pivotal point uh, uh, shortly where uh, the drop on Rome with the shuttles, you probably want to take those shuttles. Here they go towards London. Germany and Italy are both doubling London, with Italy providing the dropships, staying weakened. A BC so control Germany. from Germany. Italy is coming up as well. Large amount of troops coming up into. Uh, UK, this has got to be the, the turn for uh, Russia to attack, and here he comes, he's got a 186 army, and Raf should really be flying over towards the Russian army, because that's where the fight's going to be happening. you got to give up on uh, on UK, uh, as uh, as you don't have any troops and not enough BCs to defend it, but let's look at the penetration that Russia's going to get. He's already at Berlin, and it's going to be moving down. He's got tanks on these bunkers, these bunkers are not going to last, these SCVs are too late. This, they're bursting right through the Axis base, and they're not going to be able to defend anything without these BCs coming back and helping. BCs coming in from the left. Looks like he's forgotten. Germany has forgotten his measures, and they're taking a lot of fire, and he's losing them. Looks like they may be able to hold this with a cup shape, but RAF there's coming a lot in. of casualties. Gets one, damages a second, and a lot of damage onto the RAF. I don't think they have enough to be able to make a, a huge impact, and there's not going to be enough Marines. And uh, core was down from a long time ago. Physics is already down, but Germany has been able to uh, lift his science facility down to the Italian physics. And uh, Norway is not going to be able to build that missile turret uh, over on Berlin. But he wouldn't have got the tax anyways. Uh, here we have Italy targeting the tanks uh, of the uh, of Russia. It'd be wise to target that weak one. Finish it off. They could have possibly went for another one. There was no bunker uh, Marines in those bunkers, but uh, wanting to take the less aggressive route. And we have Norway dropping on the A wall, going ahead and knocking out a number of turrets, going ahead and target aiming. They probably could have gotten that last one to bread if uh, put a little bit more focus fire on that. But Spain wanted to go ahead and redrop Africa. It looks like he's got four drops here, uh, five drops, and. Uh, Gonna see if he brought SCV, so he's probably gonna want to bunker it. Uh, he doesn't have enough money right now. He's got 478 crystal. Uh, let's see what he does. He builds supply down here, and what looks like another supply. Oh, that's a fortification uh, up by what is that? Liverpool over there? I'd have to say that's Liverpool. During all that, Italy actually took out all of France's remaining dropships left of Cairo. Oh wow! So that will take some pressure off of Spain for a while. But take a look at the Middle East. This is something that players have to have to realize. You see how 
Um, Artha is building the uh, the attachment to the port. Uh, you really just need to kill the, uh, the the star port and build on that, and you're gonna get free attachment. So a little Amaya bit. and the Raf is cut out, but he was saying that there's a left neutral star port to the left of the uh, star port, so we could have just taken the star port and yeah. put it to attachment. So Salon's asking if they want to retake UK. So Rav, are you there? Yeah, I can hear you. You can't hear me? I wonder why he can't hear me. Well, it looks like we can't really talk. Uh, I guess we don't hear each other anymore. But I think this recording's still working, so we're going to go ahead and keep casting this. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, so Spain built a single bunker and has London. So looks like he's going to pick up that tax. Norway probably would have been able to take it. Uh, he's trying to protect Oslo. It looks like with the two turrets, uh, let's see. Building's taken out. So a couple of extra star ports down here in Egypt. All right, looks like we're doing a solo cast. Technical difficulties. That is okay. Go ahead and run with this entertaining game. D-Day looks like it's going to be happening. Uh, if it's not this turn, it's next turn. So this drop will happen shortly if it's this turn. But Italy do it, trying to keep uh, France from ha taking complete control of uh, Africa uh, is going to be able to pick it up, and they just get the two BCs. So I believe those were the last two Italian BCs, and Air is trying to clean up. Uh, but uh, now we have Norway, and this could be crucial. Uh, the drop is stuffed, and the Messer is probably going to be going after some drops. I think they're going to get at least three or four. Deciding not to prioritize that, going to go ahead and stuff uh, the D-Day. So there look like they're, 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 it's this turn. I didn't see the the uh, the shuttles, so we're gonna have to see. And it is absolutely this turn. Picks up the the, uh, the six PCs, and uh, let's see what happens down here. We should be trying to move as far, far away from these BCs as possible while taking out as many buildings as possible. Uh, but it's not going to get too far with this Spanish army unloading. Russia just wants to attack uh, for when he knows the BCs are gone. As soon as the BCs come back, uh, Napoleon here is going to want to pull his BCs, I mean pull his tanks around. A little bit of air would knock out these, these troops right here and it looks uh, absolutely that uh, Russia is going to knock out these three BCs and unfortunately just a little bit of split, splitting from ARG. Uh, two of those were from a trigger. Uh, oh, and he just got the second one. Very good job, Nap. And, uh, well, the rest of the BC force is coming out and that means tanks have got to go. But they were very successful. They knocked out a big army. They knocked out a number of uh, troops. And uh, all the meantime, did not get killed by these BCs. So he's probably just going to run, run back to either Leningrad or Ukraine. And uh, let's take a look at what his upgrades are. Zero zeros, two two for the attack of the uh, uh, of the infantry. No upgrades so far. Just the Italian going three two. France still at one one. Okay, and I doubt that Norway is going for upgrades yet. No, he's still at two two. Pretty aggressive. Germany, picking these uh, scouts, knocking out the tanks. Not enough air to be challenging them now. You do have enough with these these turrets. All right, UK is trying to coordinate, sending the Marines in. 
But uh, overall, uh, great, uh, great damage to a lot of units by Germany are getting the most of that. BC's heading up towards Norway, and scouts are going to follow. But this is how uh, confident uh, Argonaut is, is that he can, he can split up his scouts and his BC's and uh, be attacking two places at once. Great pickup on the engineer there. Doesn't look like he built any sort of nexus, and that's... Yeah, he just built this. I actually can hear you again. Can you hear me? Oh, I can! We're back with the duo cast with Chris! Wonder what it was! We are. I wonder as well. It looks like Argonaut saw that the RAF was deep in Russia, so he thought he had enough time to BC the rest of the K. Wasn't that expertly played, how he sent his uh, messers down into, uh, up into Norway, and then he sent his BCs only to clear out the army in, in UK? Just full of confidence, knowing exactly where his enemies were, as in, as in Boopsucka's wrath, and how much he had, which was not that much, and was able to uh, pick up extra damage attacking two places at once. Yes, definitely. Sal Meanwhile, it looks... Take a look Salant. You know all these drops are not full, but... He should be enough to, uh, to clear uh, this Spanish forest. It's like he delays it a bit to not drop on top of the trees, which can bug up the dropping AI. Very dangerously, we have Masters coming in, and this, these two, three drops I've dropped are going to get crushed. And really, it's a very dangerous for these drops to be still around. Makes you wonder, looks like the allies are going to go for Turkey here, so you don't always see that. But uh, some nice, nice late game money. If you control Africa and you're get you're getting Turkey money, losing UK is not the worst thing in the world. It's not, you know, absolutely killer. And there you see the new trigger no. that Turkey gets. Uh, looks like about 12 veteran Marines in a tank. Go ahead. Right, I was just about to mention the same thing. So it makes it a bit di more difficult for allies to take Turkey, and so it's become less common to take it early. Meanwhile, back in Algeria, it looks like France has rebuilt his dropships and may be ready to pressure Spain again. Look at all those drops. Look how much money he spent on this. Big, big that sums of money. Uh, but Spain has got perfect drops for uh, for uh, uh, for a France dr uh, drop. Not so good uh, if Norway drops, but very, very good against France. What do you think you'll do? I think you'll go. I think you'll go north. Do you think he'll, where do you think he's going to take his drops? France dropped north of himself, you mean? North of the bunker, of uh, Spain's bunker wall. I think that'd be a good spot maybe to clear some of those. I think Italy would also be a good spot. Look at that. Depends on the... Goliath mentioning France has 11 drops. <laughs> no. At least, uh, at least they're communicating. Still not on the Discord train, though. Meanwhile, it looks like Russia is using his tanks in Balkans area to just clear some bunkers to the entrance, but Italy is ready on the other side. Italy just got a trigger to the left of Serbia. In 3.0 and 3.1, this trigger has been changed to have less Kerrigans, since Kerrigans are advantageous to units like tanks and air. Mm, yes, good point. It's good to know the, the subtle changes in the maps, because they do make a difference. So like Russia's pulling away from Balks to go harass another area on Axis. But it's good, he cleared the uh, the city uh, in the Balks area and he was able to clear Poland uh, before the attack. So just the little things, making sure uh, to limit the Axis money wherever possible. Meanwhile back in Algeria it looks like Blues used his carriers to harass France. France doesn't have any scouts to counter them so it looks like he's not be able to jump there. Going ahead and rebuilding the, uh, the the fighter bay, bomber bay. Carriers going in conjunction. Strange that Spain didn't drop there. You had carrier support. Looks like they're going to try to double drop together. Let's see how this goes. With the carrier support, it should work out quite well. Really should get his drops out of there and his uh, engineering uh, drone. Got two of them. It's like Axis is able to clear it, and then this is so nice. Argonaut taking his scouts on the right side, knowing that the drops are going to pull, and he eats up almost all of them. Looks like he's going to get the last one. Oh, great call out there. I missed most of that. But... Oh, I thought he would take the last one or two. Oh, okay. Guess he's prioritizing killing this army. 
Alright. That's working out. UK just got a trigger. We just should get five of the twelve out. Got a good view of uh, UK's defense. There's nothing that uh, Norway shouldn't be able to, uh, to, to easily uh, destroy with about seven or eight drops. But now with the fourth bunker, see, only with two Marines in it, though. So we'll see it's what's, like what's up. Russia and Norway come in on east. It's like Axe out of position. Valkyries are running away. BCs are uh, out in uh, southern Germany. No messers. We have UK, uh, not UK, we have Russia coming in with the scouts. This is, it might be game. He's targeting the BCs. If he goes ahead and picks up the rest of these BCs, the Axis may not have a way to defend this. And he only is able to get about, uh, let's see, about seven remaining. And two of them are heavily, heavily damaged. He's got two of them in the red, two in yellow. But the carriers are still alive. It's this late game air, combined air, all of Russia's triggers, all of UK's triggers. It's very hard for Axis to stop. And here we have it, looks like allies out air Axis by a lot. It may be the game ending move. I thought Salin was going to drop on the BCs, but he chose to protect his own air. But uh, this still might be game, it looks like. It's definitely I don't, game. I don't, I don't see where these BCs are going to go other than the bottom of a, uh, of a, of a sea of some sort. Now, Coretta has only one red battle cruiser left. Yeah, let me let me get a close up on him. He's got 12 kills and he's feeling pretty lonely. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, Blue is pushing in into Turkey in France's territory with his hero marines and vultures. Well, that's a great counter to when uh, allies go Turkey. You just go right ahead and take it right back, and you now you have a clear way. Uh, directly to influence Wells, but uh, not the army to back it up, and all these French tank triggers really late in the game, uh, uh, really hard for uh, Italy to deal with, as well as dealing with uh, Russia's tanks. And the last battleship's gonna be... have to die at 20 kills, alas. Spain's coming in, Marine's still at 2-2, uh, looks like Russia's gonna respect uh, Spain and Italy coming to Germany's aid, and he's collecting a lot of money now. He needs to be having uh, at least 36, 48 men uh, on East. And it seems Germany and Italy really need to communicate. So Germany's battle crews were isolated to the left away from this ground. If they had Mike talking Discord, they could have communicated better and the battle crews attack them. So we have, uh, can no longer hear you, so... Oh, I'm not talking. That's fine. Oh, okay, okay. Alright. I'm just letting you see what you, <laughs> see, what you see. And uh, look at all those barracks by uh, Germany. It's now a ground war. Arg saying that uh, Russia made scouts. And he did have, what, about 36? He had about three groups? A little bit... Uh, you do get a, a 12 scout trigger uh, as, uh, as Russia and six a turn. So it is possible that he didn't build any. and just hasn't lost any, but... It didn't seem like a lot for the time. Most likely he didn't build any because he had to... One thing Russians will do is they'll actually stack their scouts just like UK will. Stationary. Pointing his good air control. He may have done this. Germany keeps hitting Russia. Uh, really should be getting help from Spain if, he, if uh, one member is going to be attacking. You want to have all three. A little bit strange. I did just... okay, well... A little bit of aggression. Meanwhile, to the left of Turkey, Blue is trying to hold the choke carriers and men to the left of the bridge. Yeah, I think uh, Italy is thinking that he needs to be focusing on Turkey now, and not so much Russia. Uh, we have Spain covering uh, Germany. Uh, to prevent Russia from rolling them. And now uh, it looks like with the uh, fortification coming out, it looks like Italy just would rather hold, but uh, yeah, that's everything. Allies. Yes, with leaving those BCs open, right? And Boopsaka was right there. I know, it was actually uh, Napoleon who came in, right? With his, uh, with his scouts. 
You know, good communication and access. Oh, well, she loves to together. And we're looking at the KDAs. Goliath at Spain, seven, 378 kills. But uh, just not enough, unfortunately. That's quite well. Dwarfed Salon's uh, kills. And uh, yeah, any last words there, Chris? It's Ravixel. First cast together, duo cast. No, it's an interesting game at some points. That goal was able to sustain in the early plays, like catching Francis Rocks early. But it was just too much at the end. They were too old together. All right, thanks. Well, 30 minute game, and uh, allies win.